First, they spend millions developing toothpaste to stop cavities, and then they spend billions on bigger and better ways to blow us to bits. Leave it to the eggheads. They won't rest till they've cooked up a super mushroom cloud to end everything. You dig that, Nico? He's a neghead himself. It's a living. It's a seduction. Don't gaze up a storm, boys. When we hide down here, we'll be safe. But you philosophers mind breaking it up for tonight? I gotta close up the joint. I got a home. But the pad isn't paid for, Louis. You need us. Learn from him, Louis. Pull up a chair. It's free, man. Something your money can't buy. A big chair? Diogenes comes to Nico because he's found the only honest man. Yes or no? <laughs> yes. That's a wise answer, Diogenes. Give me a dollar. Good. Buy yourself a lantern. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, there you have it. Now the world falls apart on page one, they put it together again on the sport page. I need something to drown the pain. I can't stand to hear their scream. Hey, Nico! Nico, quick! Quick! He asked for a shot. I was pouring it, and, and all of a sudden, he, he caves in and... Hey, Nico, I think he's gonna croak. What'll we do? Do? Watch. Gentlemen, this is the greatest show on Earth. It's spontaneous. It's unrehearsed. There's only one performance. Dave, Francis. You're supposed to be writers. Here's a real live death scene for you. Nothing left to the imagination. I'm trying to say something. A dying statement. Too late. He came in every night. And we never knew his name. No name. Not even a number. That makes him a perfect square. Now there's one less in the world. Well, gentlemen, did he die or was he murdered by life? If the old man could tell us, I, I think I'd send him flowers. <laughs> A small gesture of respect. <laughs> you should have been there, dog. Man, what kid? And he go? Suppose there was one like that every day. Would... Wouldn't that be something? Yeah, sure, only... How are you gonna get kicks like that every day? The best. Listen, everyone. Wake up, will you, man? You're bugging the tom-toms. Quiet.
Don't mind him, Paul. 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 You're still my favorite poet. A gentleman and a... Scooter. Hello. Hello, Brooke. How's the new recruit? Wonderful. And excited and alive. I'm glad Francis took me off the treadmill. I think you're beginning to dig the scene. I'm digging lots of things now. For instance, it is possible to live your life the way you want. The most important day of the year is Mother's Day. <laughs> you're getting a bit too, eh? Like what all she's done for you. You ought to show more respect for me. All that kind of jazz. You know what I always say? Hmm. Who needs a mother? I've been born. <laughs> He's tuned in. He can learn from Dave. What about learning from Nico? Fish. All mouth. Lies. They don't think. They don't feel. They just go round, round. Like squares. Man, they need a drink worse than anybody here. Stop! They'll die. What are you, their mother or something? Maybe she's afraid they'll drown. What's the difference? We all gotta go one way or another. He was so useless. He didn't mean to hurt them, Brooke. You see, the fish aren't important. They're just objects. Part of an experiment. He was only trying to prove something. Death. The last great challenge to the creative mind. Right, Francis? That Nico. He beams me right every time. Hey, Nico. The angels are calling us. Charlie in Los Angeles. Collect. What does he do? Nico? Like he's, a, like he's a salesman, baby. Hey, Charlie, how are you, boy? What does he sell? Dreams, baby. Dreams. Listen, you ought to be here. Curtis is away. We're in the life, man. Huh? You bored? Gee, I can't help you out over the phone. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe I can. Johnny, you come here a minute. Play for Charlie. Poor Charlie's bored. <laughs> what about the phone bill, man? Our host no like. Now wait. Curtis told us to make ourselves at home, right? Well, that's what I'm doing. Here's some cool music for you, man. Have a ball. <laughs> Five bucks a minute. Man, this is kicks. Dave and his idea of kicks. Yeah. I can think of a kick for us. Something really special. Nico. Come on, Nico. Dance with me. Not now, sweetheart. We're planning a murder. People never believe you when you tell them the truth. You're leveling? Of course. I don't talk my kicks. I do them. I haven't misjudged you, have I, Francis? No. No, you haven't. I'm with you. Are you? Go, go, go. Not everybody can appreciate an intellectual kick like this. I can appreciate anything you can appreciate. Dave only killed fish. That's nothing. Means nothing. But this is... I've been thinking about it, Francis. I can't get it out of my mind. That old man last night died for nothing. We can give death real meaning. 
Decide who dies and when. You're in TV. You're a bright young director. You make dreams come true for people in gray flannel suits. What's it called when you can control the real thing? Hmm? See, that's power. That's being somebody. You make it all sound so simple. Better get with it, man. You'll never direct anything bigger. How's it going, Daddy? What about the cops? That don't scare me. You know, too busy handing out parking tickets. Read the figures on unsolved crimes. Percentage is all with us. You in? I haven't chickened out on anything yet, have I? What's your idea? I'll think of something. Let's drink to it. See who that is, I'll take care of this. Telegram for Mr. Arnold Curtis. Oh, he's out of town. Oh, I can come back later. Well, he won't be here. He's gone for a week. Francis, Francis. Anybody who knocks tonight is a guest. Come on in. The more the merrier. Well, gee, I don't know. Come on, come on. Have a Coke, a sandwich. It'll do you good. No, uh, that's, that's nice of you, mister, but company rules, so. What's your name, son? Uh, Roy. Oh. Come on in, Roy. Come on. Come on. What's the matter with you? After all, only live once. Can't make it home. Well, where are you? Roy? Cliff. Cliff. Ooh. Roy! Let's get out of here. Roy! Why don't you go upstairs and grab a coffee? I'll wait for the report. That's a cop's job. Well, that's all right. I have to find out anyway. Just you and the kid brother? Yeah, that's all. And why him? He wasn't a punk. He was a good kid. Everybody liked him. He wanted to be a doctor. Make people live. Six hours ago, he was alive. Doesn't make sense. Six lousy hours. Hemorrhage. Perforations of the upper and lower intestine. Punctures. A series of punctures. When your brother called, did he say where he'd been? Maybe he stopped to eat? Couldn't talk, he just... We can check his route list, all right, but that may not help much. What do you mean? What did he die of? Sometime between 10.30 and 12 o'clock last night, your brother ate a hamburger full of ground glass. Ground glass? 
This is confirmation of what I was told. Criminal negligence. Negligence. A kid dies and you give it a nice, neat name. He had his whole life ahead of him. It's murder. Take it easy, Bowers. We'll find out who's responsible. Yeah, you do that, McLeod. You find him as quick as you can, because I want to get my hands on him. Don't shove it at the camera, please! Offer it! Look, honey, you want to seduce the world into using feather foam, not clobber them, can't you understand? Like this. Oh, no, no, no! She couldn't seduce a gorilla. Forget it, forget the whole thing. My Elsa won't take it. Get rid of her and send in the other girl, the blonde. She doesn't have this girl's look. Now, look, am I going to have trouble with you, too? Send in the blonde. Take ten, everybody. This is impossible today. Why didn't you run along? We'll have something for you next week. What do we do on the product close-up? What? Voice over or on camera? Voice over. You saw the setup. But you said there was a revision. Oh. Oh, yes. In my briefcase. Well, it's in there somewhere. Get it set to shoot. you shoot the close-up. You've got the revision. I'm uh, not feeling very well. I think I'll take the rest of the afternoon off. Oh, I'm sorry, Francis. Anything I can do? Oh, it's my ulcers. Nothing's gone right today for the hassle with a stupid account exec. Now this. I'll be okay tomorrow. Tell the model. Ten o'clock. That's all here, so what's the point? Are you flipped or something? It says the police are conducting... Police, 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 police. So, uh, play it cool, will you? Got nothing to go on, huh? No clues, no motives. Besides, who cares? Come on, let me see you smile. Smile. Come on, on smile. That's right. getting some of Roy's things together. Maybe somebody can use them. That's his or yours? Mine. Night school. And working days? Kind of burning the candle at both ends, aren't you, Bars? So did Roy. We had our reasons. You got any news for me? It's all negative. We checked all the eating houses on his route. He didn't stop at any of them. I told you, he never does. He didn't buy that hamburger. All right, so he saved every dime. He took sandwiches. But couldn't he have got hungry just once and spent 40 cents of his tips? Tips. Every tip he ever made was for his education. It was a religion with him. He didn't buy that hamburger anyway. Somebody gave it to him deliberately. Cold-blooded murder? And I'm a little far-fetched. You're the detective, you tell me. Who'd want to do a thing like that? Got any idea? No. Everybody liked Roy. He made friends easily. He never hurt a soul. Went out of his way to be nice to people. Ask his boss. Ask the neighbors. Is there anybody who might have been jealous of him? Did he have a girlfriend? No. He didn't have time for girls or money to spend on them. There's another possibility. 
Messenger boys get around. He might have seen or heard something damaging. Maybe it was so bad, the person he caught had to get rid of him. Maybe you've hit on something. Maybe not. Why didn't you tell me that you were the beneficiary of his $2,000 life insurance policy? What do you mean by that? Just quoting the facts? Well, you can unquote that fact because I had a policy for $5,000 made out to him. Are you in any trouble, Bars, in debt? Lay off, McLeod. What do I have to do, prove myself innocent? If you want to do some real good, why don't you check his rap list? Check the places he called that night. Everybody's clear. Here's the calls he made between 10.30 and 11.30. I see that. What are these last three names? Those telegrams were found on him. Marked no delivery. Nobody home. Ortega works nights. Curtis was out of town last Tuesday, still is. Jones is in the hospital recovering from an operation. I don't care who or what checks out. Somebody murdered him. Nothing to go on, Bars. Gotta sit tight and keep plugging. I know. Just a file number to you people. You didn't bring him up, work for him, plan for him. And what's it all been for? I'll find out who killed him if it takes the rest of my life. It might take you that long too, my friend. This is no job for amateurs. So what are the pros doing? Listen. There are four men on this case. We've all had a thorough training at the police academy. Ballistics, fingerprinting, toxicology, we know our stuff. And we're veterans at it. But Cliff Bauer, citizen, can move in and break this case single-handed. All right. So I'm off my rocker. But don't you see, McLeod? I've got to try. What about your job? They'll give me leave. Night school, are you going to throw away everything you've been working for? I'll make it up. What's a brother's life worth, McLeod? I'd probably feel the same way if I was in your shoes. Would you mind if I went over the groundwork myself? Check the route list? Whoa, I can't turn that over to you. All right. I'll go to the company and get one. I'm sure once I've explained, they'll give me a copy. Okay. It's off the record. Anybody makes a beef about this, you're on your own. Only remember, when you check these people, you can't pressure them. You're not acting in any official capacity. They don't even have to talk to you. And if a man slams the door in your face, it doesn't make him a prime suspect. Okay. Keep your eyes and ears peeled for any little out of the ordinary things that don't quite add up. You smell pipe smoke, and the lady says she's alone. A cheap rooming house, and the guy wears custom-made suits. Discrepancies. You get the idea? Yeah. Good luck. I'll keep an eye on you. And if you should stumble on anything, call me. Don't be a hero. People get killed that way. I did this bit all day yesterday. You with the police? They're sending in a second team now? No. Could you tell me when he's coming back? I don't know. I didn't ask. Why don't you quit bothering people? <laughs> Thank you. 
You dig the sound, man? Greatest, no? Yeah. Hey, this, this pad swinging tonight? Man, I hope it's as crazy as the last party. Because I was strictly floozling, you know what I mean? These cats must be dead in here. Curtis isn't back yet. Curtis Schmertis, man. Nico's got the key. You see Nico? No. I'm waiting for him. Well, maybe he's still spinning down at the digs. Why don't we see? Yeah. What are we hanging around here? Gathering dice for? Let's cut out, man. In the orbit, the lights are blue. The moon is good. French fried shoes all the way. They're swinging here, man. These are the ones. Ain't no teachers, or no preachers, no cops. Nobody to stop you from swinging. You like the life? Yeah. Strictly from crazy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you, you want to leave the ground where you, you find Nico? better heads on mumbles. And Nico would be the first one to agree with me. Sure. Hey, where is Nico, pal? Well, he's everywhere. And he's nowhere. Why don't you ask Francis? Francis? Yeah. Like I said. Oh, wait. Try the brook. The brook? Yeah. From Brooklyn. And she babbles. For Nico. Why come to me then? Well, somebody told me you'd know where he is. Somebody would think I'm a crystal ball. Okay. All I wanted was a civil answer to a civil question. Oh, don't go away, madman. Play it cool. For laughs. <laughs> Be honest, that's what you really wanted, isn't it? Is your idea kicks? No. Yours, slumming down here where you don't belong. Why don't you cut out? You can have a ball telling the boys on the corner all about it. Sorry I bothered you. Who's the character? A tourist left over from the last revival. <laughs> Says he's looking for Nico. Yeah, but is Nico looking for you? Well, he doesn't know I'm back in town yet. We met at a party once. I have an idea once was enough for Nico. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Benton. Cliff Benton. How cool. Maybe you'll bake a cake. <laughs> Come on, let's cut out squares. Give me claustrophobia. So I says through who's top man, doll. And yet she makes answer, why you are, daddy-o. And I'm telling you, man, this is the most female female I ever saw. You know what? Hey, you uh, have one of mine, man. Thanks. How you doing? Did you find him? It's not getting anywhere. Say, what's the name of that girl over there? The bar? What? Uh, uh, the brook. Do you want to fly with her, man? You be at my pad tomorrow night. It's at, um... Where am I living now, Dave? 1722 East Maple. 1722 East Maple. 
Just go where the noise is, man. <laughs> you can't miss it. Thanks. And uh, bring a parachute. So I'm telling you, man. Burned up with neglect? Well, it's business. Whether we wish it or not, society demands that we meet the bills. Mm -hmm. You know the bit. I ought to. Beamed at me all my life. A man was looking for you. Said his name was Cliff Benton. What do you want? What do they all want, Nico? Perhaps a reason to exist. He depressed me. You can see the drag in his eyes, a nine to fiver. The whole routine. I know. Blackmailed by convention. Living in a filing cabinet under sucker. But you're through with all that, Ellie. The way we dig the scene, it's bright, dazzling, and exciting. Right? Just don't leave further back. Try to watch it. Watch the drink. Don't your hand. That's fine, honey. Just send a little further back, that's all. Go back your head a little. Right. Okay. Up your arms. Yeah, heathens! You completely wrecked my fit for immortality. No, 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 don't go. Let me immortalize you. Papa. <laughs> pa. You're gonna thank me, doll. What an improvement. What an improvement. I'm gonna do more for you than anything you can find in stores. Ooh, this is gonna start a new trend. What an improvement. Now stand there. Don't even breathe. Doll, join the party. Come on. No, Dave, not now. Oh, come on, you said you wanted a life. Oh, here it is, baby. Cool, weed, dry. What's this? Come on. All right, leave her alone. Are you all right? You didn't have to pull a Sir Galahad, did? I'm fully capable of taking care of myself. It didn't look like it to me. Mind your own business. Now, why don't you cut out and leave me alone? I just want to talk to you for a minute. I don't know why. You don't like the party. You don't like the people. So why did you come here in the first place? Why did you? To get away from that. It's an idiot world. and prove me out of the insanity. Can this make sense? These beats... Only up the wall in a crummy basement. So what's your kicks? Malted milks, picnics in the park. That would depend on the company. The moths are fattening and I hate fresh air. Figures. Sure figures. There's Nico in there. I thought you said you knew him. Well, it was a long time ago. I might not recognize him now. I don't understand you. You're square, Mr. Right around the block. What are you? A reporter looking for local color? You want to write us up and maybe win a few converts in the process? No. I heard that Nico could help me locate a friend of mine. 
Arnold Curtis. I phoned, but there was no answer. He's away. I went to a party in his apartment. When? Oh, who remembers the dates of parties? No, I mean, one week or two weeks? Last week. Sometime, I guess. They were looking for kicks. I remember this kid walked in. A messenger boy was... Messenger boy, Ellie. Listen to me. Come on, cats. We're bidding out of here. What's up? Somebody don't like our street, so we move. That's all. We find Nico, we find a new pad. Nico knows how to make it swing. Come on, doll. Let's get out of here. We find Nico, we find a new pad. Nico knows how to make it swing. It's all there. It's not that I don't trust you, Studs. I'm just guarding against error. This is very good, huh? Very good indeed. You satisfied, Nico? It's 10% for you. Well, I'm glad you're satisfied, Nico, because I'm not. I gotta have more dough. Now, Stud, you know we have an arrangement. That's a firm deal. You sit right in a chair in here where it's safe. The mule. He takes the risks. He sells, he collects. But you knew all that before we started. You've been reading the papers, Nico. The squeeze is on. Things are getting tough. You two been talking this over? Figured you were indispensable. I'd have to raise the ante, hmm? Could be, Nico. On account of trade secrets. I've been delivering for the syndicate, but collecting for you with interest. <laughs> tell them, studs. That's really telling them. Now, studs, you know you made mistakes. Dead customers are bad for business. I'll see what I can do. You know what you can do, and I know what you can do. You don't have to talk to nobody. Peel it off of your own take. Okay. Why break up a winning combination? I'll meet you halfway. Meaning what? Well, what does halfway usually mean, Studs? Partners. You mean we split 50-50? That's right. From now on, on everything you handle, right down the middle. And to show you my good faith... We spartan it, studs. We ought to celebrate. With that percentage, I... I think we ought to get started right away on the new deal. Very well. That's enterprising of you, studs. Why not? When I'm a partner. Who is it? It's me, Francis. Someone here to see you. Who is it? Same fellow who was here last night. You better look him over. This may be trouble. All right, I'll be right out. You two wait at the bar. I may need you. We're strangers, remember? Okay. Partner? Nico, uh, you remember Cliff? No, I uh, can't say as I do. We met at a party once. How you doing, bro? Party. Uh, what party was that? Uh, Arnold Curtis's about uh, two or three weeks ago. He introduced us. Was that before Arnold left town? Yeah. Yes, that's possible. Uh, what did you say your name was? Uh, Cliff, uh, Cliff... Uh... Benton. Cliff Benton. Benton, of course, yes. Of course. How are you? I'm glad you dropped in. Any friend of Barney's is a friend of mine. Uh, do you know Mr. Haynes? We've met. Oh, good. Well, sit down. Go ahead, sit down. I'll get you a drink. 
see me if I can do something better than that wine. Thanks. Idea. Trying to trip me? Now, wait a minute. I didn't trip you. Nobody calls me a liar, mister. Bring it up! Bring it up! Let him go. It's all right, John. Everything's under control. Now beat it, both of you. I'll see you. better see to it that they leave. I'll be right back. Are you all right? Must be part of the floor show. I'm sorry. I, I don't know who they are. Gee, I'm sorry about that. Are you all right? Thanks for the helping hand. Nothing. I, uh... I hope you didn't get the wrong impression. You know, things like that, they, uh... Well, they sometimes happen when strangers drift in. Oh, Cliff. The boys lifted somebody's wallet. Was it yours? Is this what you want? Oh, thank you. Hey, what's the idea? No, no, just... Just checking the ID card. What did you say your name was? We told you, Nico, Cliff Benton. Benton? Well, that's curious. Seems to be some kind of a discrepancy. Uh, name here is Bowers. Your friend must be an actor, Ellie. He's got a stage name. Don't call me. I'll call you, Mr. Benton. Bowers. Um, what did you want to see me about, Mr. Bowers? Arnold Curtis. I told you, I just want to find out when he's coming back. Oh. Oh, and you went to all that trouble just to find that out? Well, that's no problem. Uh, Arnold's coming home this weekend. As a matter of fact, he's having a homecoming party. If you want to go, I'll take the liberty of inviting you now. I'm sure Arnold would be glad to see you. Thanks. Oh, Cliff. Be looking forward to it. Before you cave in. Next time, uh, we pick an orphan. You let him go. Are you crazy? What if he goes to the cops? What if he's been? Don't be stupid. 
they had anything definite on us, the cops would have been here long ago. But he's got us hooked up with Curtis's place. How? Answer me. How did he find out? Dumb luck. Oh, dumb. Everybody's dumb but you. Nico, the brain. You and your foolproof ideas. I knew we'd never get away with it. I didn't want to do it in the first place. Listen, you mindless, gutless snob. At the first sign of trouble, you start trying to weasel out. Let me remind you. I didn't feed him that hamburger you did. It was your idea. I'm liable to get another idea. You don't stop whimpering. We're going to have to take steps. That's all. No. No, no. no I couldn't. Fortunately, I don't need you. All you have to do is keep your flabby mouth shut. Everything's been taken care of. same guns you saw at the digs. What does it prove? It adds up to me, McLeod. They were at the Curtis's that night, the whole beat gang. They're mixed up with Roy. They know I know it, and they want to get rid of me. You can't pull the switch on the strength of your theory. You've got to have evidence to put people in jail. Well, take them in for questioning. Might save some time if you'd start with Nico. What do we charge him with? He's helped everything that goes on, isn't he? Kingpin of the whole gang. All right. Suppose I talk to him. He'll deny any tie-in with the goons that jumped you. He'll point out that he personally pulled them off you the first time they started roughing you up. What do we do? Call him a liar? But I've got a feeling. Not good enough. You can't book anybody on the strength of your feelings, Bowers. What motive can you think of? What possible motive? I don't know. They're crazy. Maybe feed ground glass to a square. Big new kick, man. But it takes psychos to do it. I must admit it's a possibility. I'll say it's a possibility. You any idea what goes on with these characters? They think rules are made to be broken. Anything for kicks. McCloud, let's grab them. I'm a cop, not a judge and jury. I can't grab them. I can't even prevent. All I can do is try to apprehend the guilty party after the crime has been committed. Like locking the barn door after the horse has been stolen. Start raking people over the coals for what they think. We'd all be in jail. What you're really trying to say is there's no way to trip this guy up. I'm saying we got to have proof. By the way, I had an interesting tip from the phone company. Somebody phoned Los Angeles last week from the Curtis apartment. They talked for an hour. The night Roy died. That proves it. That proves that Take Nico it is... easy. They're not ready to navigate yet. It proves that someone was in the apartment the day Roy died. You want to tie this thing on Nico, you've got to find witnesses. A witness. Someone who saw him give Roy that hamburger. Come in. Oh, I was looking for Mr. Bowers. Well, hello. Sergeant McLeod, Miss Stone. How are you doing? I'll be running on. Uh, hope you'll be better, Cliff. I'll be in touch. Uh, please sit down. 
I just wanted to tell you how sorry I am. The paper said you. Yeah. Very nice of you to drop by. I uh, brought some fruit. Thanks. Very nice of you. I should have had it done up in fancy wrapping, but they just didn't have any. No, no. It's all right. Please sit down. I only have a minute. I hope you're feeling better. Yes, I'm fine now. I'm glad. Uh, you really ought to do something about this apartment. New rug, maybe a few new lamps. There I go, dressing the set. The apartment has been the least of my worries the past week or so. I'd like to think that your coming here was your own idea. What do you mean? Oh, well, nobody set me, if that's what you're thinking. I came here on my lunch hour. <laughs> lunch hour? Isn't that the thing for squares to do, work for a living? Huh? I have to eat. Yeah, I suppose you do have to eat. And you have to work, too. But I bet you don't like it. I bet you laugh like crazy at all the jerks who are trying to make something of themselves. And for a really big kick, you slip somebody a hamburger full of ground glass. What are you talking about? You don't know? I most certainly do not. Forget it. Must have been that knock on the head. What are you trying to get at? The guys that beat me up in the alley last night are the same guys that picked the fight at the digs, and they're working for Nico, and that's what I'm getting at. Oh. You're wrong. Nico helped you. Nico broke it up and sent them packing. Nico played it that way. Cool. Nico knows that I know he killed my brother. Killed your brother? He fed him a hamburger full of ground glass. Well, it, it couldn't have been Nico, I know. What do you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You were at the party. What do you know? Are you accusing what me? You know? Let me go! All right. All right. I'm sorry. I've got to find out, and I will, if it takes the rest of my life. This is Roy. Do you recognize him? You do recognize him. You know. Did you see Nico with him? Or Francis? No, oh, Cliff, you're wrong. Nico wouldn't. Why? What reason? A reason? A creep like that doesn't need reasons for kicks. I won't believe it. I admit, Nico, all of us do stupid things. Sometimes bad things, but not deliberate. But Roy was there, wasn't he? What happened? Tell me. They brought him in. He was shy. Uh, they had some laughs. All of them. I didn't pay too much attention. Do you know how long he stayed? Did you see him leave? This is very important. Did you see him eat anything? I think he did. Ellie, will you help me? Well, what do you want me to do? What time does Nico come to the digs? About 9, maybe 9.30. I want you to meet me there tonight. Suppose I can prove what I say. Expose Nico in front of you. Then will you believe me? Will you tell McLeod everything that you know? Yes, Cliff, I'll tell him. I'd better get back. Ellie? What are you trying to prove? Are you mad at the world or something? 
The only way to beat it is not to care. Take my parents. They worked and saved all their lives for what? For you, maybe, so you'd have it a little bit easier when you grew up. When I was a child, I thought they were ten feet tall. Now they're nothing, and they want me to be like them. That's why I went to the digs. I thought I could find it. And did you? No, oh, Cliff, I don't know. Extension 212. Sergeant McLeod, Cliff Bowers. Not exactly the sort of place I would choose for a conference. But I suppose you have no choice. Well, uh, we had a small party here last week. I'm sorry for the short notice, Mr. Stefanik, but uh, I can guarantee you we won't be bothered. Which is almost enough to excuse this. Well, let's get down to cases. By and large, the front office is very satisfied with the situation here. Business is all we expect, no headaches, and we are going to do better for you, Nico. Thank you, Mr. Stefanik. Of course, I'm... Pleased. However, I want to temper my praise with one admonition. By all means. I don't uh, question your judgment in cultivating the kind of people you have. It's proved very profitable from a business standpoint. However, for reasons best known to yourselves, which I'm not concerned with, you have insisted on electing yourself a leader of this crowd, a chairman, a headman. This, the front office views with some concern. I want to caution you not to become so involved with these people that you become one of them. Think like them. Act like them. Otherwise, you might make a shambles of everything we've built up here. Like this room. You understand? I can assure you there's no cause for concern. Good. Now tell me why we're here. I've, um, been having difficulty with two of my men. Studs and the weasel. They've gotten way out of line. Beating up some personal enemy in an alley. Narrowly avoiding arrest. And on top of that, They've had the goal to demand more money. Bad, Mr. Stefanik. They've ceased to be useful. They're a liability and a threat. No problem. Mules can be replaced. But, uh... We're wide open, sir, and, uh... I know what they'll do. I don't think they'll be in a position to do anything. to be here so early. Uh, something special tonight, bro. Dave wants to throw a party, and he asked me to drop by and organize the guests. 
Okay? Yes, of course. Fine. Uh, we'll be off as soon as the others show up. Don't get lost. It'll be special. Can you do it? With this encouragement, my friend, I can read anything. Even this. I'll signal you when, okay? Okay. Nico's here, ahead of time. What? And he'll be leaving soon, a party someplace. What'll we do? I'll move the performance up to now. Okay? Ah, uh, my friend, I've memorized it perfectly. Certain minor refinements. Would you like to hear a rehearsal? No, never mind the rehearsal. Go ahead. Now. Now. And make it good and loud. I'll call McLeod. You stay with Nico. Go ahead. My good friend. I have a few gems of poesy to expound. Or would you? Cool cats and hot chicks. A recitation. May I have your undiluted attention? Patty cake. Patty cake. Puzzle for fools. Like it hot, some like it cool, some like it lethal, with ground glass and such. Pick a patsy for the caper, no one will miss him much. So dig this message, Daddy. It's for you and all the rest. No one got it until now. Because the telegram said, death! Easy or I break it. Oh. I'm your choice, but I gotta make mine. Don't let him. Don't let him. What are you gonna do? Sometimes junkies get careless. Make the pup too strong. One kick too much. <laughs> Open up! Open up! No place here! Open up! Let him in. Open up! Kill him. Kill him. Kill him! Kill him! Go! Go! You dirty double-crossing, two-timing rat. He almost made it, eh, Nicole? But not quite. Here's your pigeon. Have fun. Come on. <laughs>
Miko's idea. Are you all right? Miko. You kids better slip out this way. We'll wrap this thing up. I'll be in touch. Miko's idea. Whole thing. Nico. He made me do it. It was Nico's idea. He made me do it. It was all his idea. You've got to believe it. It was Nico. All his idea. He made me do it. He made me do it. Nico. Whatever he was, one thing for sure. He never figured he'd end up like this. <laughs>